H54 TV as seen on Hockey54.com. I'm out on the artificial ice here in Las Vegas, Nevada. And who shows up after seeing me with the knuckle buster on but Big George LaRock. How's it going, big guy? Very good. How you doing? I'm awesome. I'm awesome, man. I'm, I'm just turning around. I'm seeing... Is that Big George? Yeah, man, it is. This is great. This is great. How are you enjoying Vegas? Uh, well, good. And again, I was just walking around and I saw this size. I was like, what the hell is that doing right in the middle of Vegas? So I had to stop by and look at what that was. Well, I mean, hey, you're a Montreal guy, obviously. And, and, and ice is like, well, you know, second nature. You come out of the womb and, well, th there's the ice. How, how young were you when you laced up the skates for the first time? You know, being born in Montreal, I, was, I started skating at four years old. You know, it's national sport in Canada, hockey, so you have as a kid, you have to learn how to skate. It's almost like talking, so every Canadian uh, born in Montreal especially knows how to skate and lays them up really early. I'm a goalie. Now, I'm a goalie because I couldn't skate, you know, but your job out there quite often is, well, to protect guys like me. If I, if I was playing net right now and these guys started roughing me up, would you hop over the boards and say, hey, 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 leave the Schwartz alone? Actually, uh, if I was playing with you and stuff, they wouldn't even do that. So, <laughs> <laughs> so you'd be fine, you'd be fine. <laughs> now, I, I've caught a couple of interviews with you in the past. I mean, I watch the TV and everything, and I've read some stuff about you. Your mom gets a little nervous when you're doing your job out there? Well, I don't know any mom that would like to see their son uh, fight, especially now guys in the NHL are so much bigger. And, uh, you know, even though I'm 6'3", there's guys that are 6'6", six, 6'7", six, six, so she doesn't like that. And uh, she always asks me, why do I, you fight? Why do you fight all the time? And I tell her, that's my job. I wouldn't be there otherwise. You know, I wouldn't spoil you the way that I've done if I didn't do that. So, you know, she, it's still hard for her. She closes her eyes and hopes for the best every time. Hold on. You just said you spoil your mom. Anything you can share with H54 TV that you've done that's a little nice since you jumped into the league and, well, are making a healthy living playing the game we all love? Well, all my parents, you know, I bought them house and cars and stuff, you know, to... Uh, Thank you for their support because, uh, you know, when you're a kid, there's a lot of sacrifice they have to do. I remember getting up at 5 today in the morning to go to practice and uh, to be able to play. You know, kids are always at the, the worst size there is. and uh, But that's what you need to be in the NHL. So without their sacrifice, I wouldn't be there. So that's why now that I'm there, it's a way to, to be thankful and thank her for our support. Who did more of the driving, mom or dad? I think it was pretty even. Yeah? Yeah, it was pretty even. They, uh, they were switching back and forth. I have a brother and a sister, so they were switching. They, they, it's full-time duty. We were full-time duty for our parents when we were kids. Any, uh, any advice that you can give? Because, I mean, you talk about your mom an awful lot and your family. Awful. Any advice for some parents out there, how they might be able to manage their kid, their time, and getting them to the rink, and how they might even be a better parent standing out in the stands? You know, one of the biggest things that I always tell parents is let the kid play. There's too many parents out there when they go watch kids play. They're too loud. They're yelling at their kids. And uh, eventually the kids end up hating hockey because parents are in the stands. They want their kids to succeed so much that they yell at them and stuff. And they, they, sometimes the ref have to get parents out of the stands because they're so bad. So I tell their parents, you know, let the kids enjoy. They're young. It's, and, and if they're going to love it, they're going to love it. But you don't put pressure on them and stuff because all you're going to do is make them hate hockey. Big George, I'm going to put the pressure on you now. I was talking with Kessler earlier. We were doing the motion capture for NHL 2K with him. Yeah. And he was able to give our tagline in one take. You've been on the airwaves all over Canada. You're a natural in front of the lens. Got to get the tagline with George LaRock. If I didn't, Hot Shot back there might give me the gears afterwards. So here we are. We're Hockey54.com, the face of the game. Can I get real close to the big guy right here? Yeah and give us our tag of Hockey54.com, the face of the game. Let's do it one take. No problem. Here's Hockey54.com, the face of the game. A natural, awesome, very, very natural in front of that camera. Big George LaRock, Montreal Canadian, a gentle, gentle giant, <laughs> as I would like to put it. Thank you. Take care, George. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you.